Back to Charlottesville, there was no shortage of criticism, as we said, over President Trump's initial reaction to the deadly car ramming attack by an alleged Nazi sympathizer in Virginia. But another leader had nothing to say about the incident. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been quick to comment on other manifestations of anti-Semitic and violence and terror, but kept relatively quiet over this one. But some here in Israel say Netanyahu's silence in this instance spoke volumes. Our diplomatic correspondent Mike Wagenheim has more in this report. Mr. Prime Minister. It's a quiet but unsettling alliance, and their silence speaks volumes. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has increasingly become friendly with regimes whose stances on anti Semitism are, well, we'll call them lacking. This trend came to the forefront again this weekend after a deadly rally in Virginia when U.S. President Donald Trump lumped neo Nazis and white nationalists in with the counter protesters who battled them. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. It's been going on for a long time in our country. Trump took heat for his moral equivocation from American politicians on both sides of the aisle. Israeli politicians, including right-wing leader Naftali Bennett of the Jewish Home Party, also expressed their dismay with the events. Bennett said the unhindered waving of Nazi flags and symbols in the U.S. is not only offensive towards the Jewish community and other minorities, it also disrespects the millions of American soldiers who sacrificed their lives in order to protect the U.S. and the entire world from the Nazis. But it's been radio silence from Bennett's coalition partner. Netanyahu has not spoken out publicly on the matter. He also did not release a statement earlier this year after Trump's White House published a Holocaust Memorial Day declaration that included no mention of Jews and after a Trump spokesman made an ill-advised comparison between Adolf Hitler and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Last month, Netanyahu also appeared to take the side of Hungarian populist Viktor Orban in his public war with Jewish investor George Soros. Orban launched a media campaign against Soros, who both Orban and Netanyahu have accused of funding anti-government organizations in both countries. Orban was accused of anti-Semitism for the tone and content of the campaign, but Netanyahu ordered a foreign ministry statement attacking Soros for his activities. Netanyahu's actions are pragmatic as he sees the likes of Trump and Orban as partners in fighting Islamic terrorism and liberal agendas. Israel's leader often vigorously and passionately calls out anti-Semitism elsewhere in the world. But if condemnation of anti-Semitism continues to yield to political considerations, diaspora Jews may feel increasingly abandoned by the one country in the world that is supposed to defend them from people like this. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.